Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be for July 2023. God, I can't believe it's already July. Um, for those of you that are returning, welcome back. I have been a little MIA. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy, happy birthday to all the Cancers, the ones who have passed, and the ones who are coming. Um, we are going to do this reading for July, like I said, 2023. We're going to get into your current energy, the near future, which you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we'll take a look at what's going on in love. So if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. Remember, this is a general reading. It is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, so let's get a feel for what's going on with you guys. Cancer, July. Okay, so your overall energy, we have the Ten of Swords. This is, I know that seems a little scary when you first see it because... It's like, oh my God, you feel so betrayed. And some of you, yes, but it's like the end of the betrayals because tens are endings. So if you felt like you just kept getting hit with one betrayal after another or something was disappointing or things were happening that were seemingly frustrating, I feel like July is finally bringing that to an end. We have a lot of planetary stuff happening this month, so just keep an eye on that. Um, the North and South Node are going to be shifting into the other two cardinal signs, which are Libra and Aries, and then it's you and Capricorn. So if you are interested in astrology, I would pay attention to that because that's going to tell you a lot about the beginnings and the endings and then this full moon in Capricorn and the new moon in Cancer that's going to be coming. There's just so much energy around your sign in the next month. So you could find yourself coming to a place of resolution and deciding that you don't really want to focus on it anymore. This could also just be thought processes that have been difficult that you haven't been able to release. And I feel like that's something else. It's like there's a new way of thinking. So it's the death to an old way. You're putting that behind you now and moving forward. You could just feel like your whole life is really shifting and changing during this month. It It's not that you have to let go of the past. It feels like you're just resolved with it and that you can move forward much easier not that you haven't moved forward in the past I just feel like this is different this feels very different okay so let's go ahead and get into huh, well it makes sense because what spirit's trying to say is you've been doing this work for a really long time you've been manifesting things you've been putting things into motion you've been doing the, the work yes we know that pat on the back I'm sure you're tired of hearing that but that's true you have been. So when the magician pops out like that, and then you have the five of, of pentacles, something that you've finally left behind. There is no more feeling left out in the cold. It's like self-reassurance, knowing that you can create things on your own and you don't need energies external to yourself. I feel like this is also not needing any kind of external validation. It's feeling good enough within and Knowing that you have the ability to create what, you, create what you desire without, maybe for some of you it's without the help of another. Maybe the thought has always been that I can't do this unless I have other people in my life. And that's an old idea that you're letting go of as well. So then we have the three of wands after that, which tells me it's a focus on the future. And yes, still waiting for some things to come in, the your ships to come in, which it typically represents. But in this case, it's like you realize you, I want to say you don't feel like spirits abandon you or maybe for a while, a part of you felt like you couldn't believe in the universe or God or anything that you, whatever it is that you believe in because things weren't happening. At least they weren't happening the way you wanted or in the time frame in which you wanted. And you were like, wait, I've been spending all this time manifesting these things. Why haven't they come in? But the realization is, is that you have a choice to be okay in the present moment. And I think that's what you're realizing is it's okay to feel okay where you are and understand that no matter what, you put the energy into it. It's just coming when it's meant to come at the right time instead of, because some of us are a little impatient. We want things when we want things. I think that's human nature. But I think you realize they're still coming. Maybe you're starting to get more excited because you've released some other energies that are connected to what made you feel by the way, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do it. I, I, can't, I don't like when readers say that you've got a block or you're doing something wrong. I don't hear it that often anymore, but I just want to remind you 
This is not that you could have sped up the process. I want people to understand that there's nothing you can do to speed up the process. You are not stopping things from coming into your life. Even if you have a negative thought, even if sometimes you can't get out of those ruts, it means that you're processing and working through things. So please don't think that anything that you have done has been wrong. You've had to process these things and it takes time. Wait for the astrology to line up, wait for the numerology to line up, wait for things to be right, and then they come in. It's spirit's way of working. It all makes sense if you look into every aspect to understand why things happen the way that they do. Okay, so here we have the Knight of Pentacles in the near future with the King of Wands. So I feel like this is you moving towards things. You could be starting into something new um, that will create new financial prosperity. So it feels like something that you're going to take your time with. I think you understand that slow and steady wins the race. The King of Wands tells me that there could be a lot of fire and energy and passion that's reignited in the month of July, which is really nice. Does the money come in speedy? Not necessarily, but it means that there's something that you work toward with the, towards with the attitude that you don't need to rush to get to the other end of it, that you put in the work and the passion that's connected to that work that you want to be doing and the results come in. So that it's more stable. It's not like you get hit with like one big, huge rush of money and then it's desolate for a while. This feels very steady. The Seven of Swords. So you're releasing some fear connected to this passion that you have. And you have a desire to finally start taking steps towards it. Good. Because if this is the first time or you're reinventing yourself around something that you do as well. Which is good because it's going to be steady. So you may find that you're just more passionate that you, than you have been um, in quite some time. All right, so what you don't see coming, the Eight of Wands in reverse, that's what I was talking about. Things are gonna be moving slowly. The Eight of Wands just tells me it's not a lack of communication. I just think that you don't need, this feels very external, you don't need anything from the outside to tell you that you're making the right moves or that you're making the right choices. The Eight of Wands and then we have the Two of Cups. If there is someone in your life that you haven't heard from, I, I still think things are going to be a little bit quiet. It doesn't have to be partnership. Uh, part of me feels like if you had walked away from this before, the King of Wands, the very passionate energy has its back to this card, which tells me you may have put a lot into it in the past and maybe a part of you is not ready anyway so the energy isn't flowing forward so if you're expecting to hear from somebody or you're holding back I wouldn't be surprised just give yourself some time to make a choice I think you're more focused on you and not other people so under that we have the page of swords so somebody's definitely paying attention to you they're not going to stop wanting to know what is going on with you doesn't matter who it is it could be an admirer it could be somebody you used to date could be friends could be a lot of different people I just don't think that there's going to be a lot of action taken. So what you don't see coming is if you're expecting something coming in, I don't think it's going to. I think the person watches in awe about the changes that you've made, how creative you've become, um, what you've been able to manifest, things like that. Not that most of us really want to pay attention to that, but if you're wondering about your person, that's where I feel like their energy is. Okay, so... What Spirit wants you to focus on, we have the King of Swords, standing up for yourself, Two of Swords. Get very, very, very clear this month about what you want, especially within your relationships. You need to make a decision and it's going to have to be a really, it's a tough one. And I understand with the Two of Swords, it's funny because I was already channeling this message prior to getting into your reading. Something's going to be coming up. You don't see it. You're going to have to make a decision and Spirit wants you to focus on making quick and concise choices because you already know inside this is what I feel like is coming through as a, just a channel message you already know exactly what you want you're actually not in this space it may be a difficult decision and it may be something that pops up that you're just not expecting but I think you're prepared for it which is good that spirit just wants you to be right there and ready for it you may be a little tired of dealing with these types of surprises that pop up I just don't think it's anything that you can't manage. This is coming out. I don't want to say you're cutting people off at the knees because it doesn't feel like your energy is that like 
I don't want to say it's mean natured, but it is very straight to the point and no BS. So if you're having some issues, you have any questions about something that you feel is coming, you're going to make the choice and you're, you're going to be clear and spirit's just asking you to do that. Okay. So do you have any challenges? The king of pentacles in reverse. And then we have the eight of swords. So if things have been, I think a part of you feels a little bit stuck around your money. You may be asking questions about why things haven't been as stable. And this is what spirit's trying to come in and say is that if you take your time and you do things consistently and your passion is behind it, then it's going to get you out of this place of feeling like you just feel strapped to something. Like, is it always going to be this way? Does it have to look this way? No, it doesn't. It can look a million different ways, especially if you have either your own business or you're finding new things that you desire that will also create income. So I think your fear, excuse me, is that you may not find that kind of, may either create that kind of wealth in your life or that you may not find that kind of true stability. I don't believe that's true. I think sometimes when we have past experiences, we get blinded by the old trauma and we don't think we can break free from that. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify this with the Magician and the Five of Pentacles. Let's see if there's anything else that you need to know there. So we have the Knight of Wands coming up, which is you're very passionate about the decisions you've made. That makes sense. And to continue going towards them. I, I just feel like you're being pushed to focus on what brings that kind of joy. What you feel driven to do. Just focus on it this month. Sometimes we don't feel motivated. Other times we do. This is you manifesting the things that you're passionate about. So focus on those. Don't put your energy in things that either aren't, not just not meant for you. Things that aren't coming together or you've already walked away from, let those things slide. Do your best to allow it to leave your mind, to leave your experience and focus on this because the more energy you put into those things, the better off the result's going to be. With the five of pentacles in reverse and the three of wands, the four of wands, you may feel, well, this is current energy. So if anyone's unstable around their home environment or there's been questions about how the relationship is going to move forward. I think you were waiting for something to change or you have questions about whether this is going to happen or not. Again, this is Spirit's way of saying, just kind of let it go and you're going to get the answers. This is where that choice comes in. If this is around a relationship, a marriage, something that you feel like isn't going well, I don't think there's going to be a lot of energy put into it this month doesn't mean that you aren't going to be available. If you want love, you want love. I don't see it being your main focus this month for those of you that at least are drawn to this particular reading. I think this is more about your stability, your home life, your career, the things that you want that are drive the things that are driving you, your passions. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles. You could find that other people are giving you a lot of credit for the steps that you're taking. I feel like this is acknowledgement and it could be several different people coming towards you opportunities that are going to create also um, some excitement for you. So this could be three new clients, three new significant clients. Um, I feel like you're going to get recognition. So look out for that because people are going to appreciate what you're doing. The King of Wands with the Seven of Swords in reverse <clears throat> is the Five of Pentacles. That just tells me that you are leaving behind people who have stabbed you either stabbed you in the back or done things that you've just been uncomfortable with I think your intuitions kicked up a notch now if this has been around your work I would say you're abandoning things that no longer feel good to you and the seven of swords is about things that are deceitful difficult it doesn't always have to be a a person, it could be an energy. So if something isn't feeling good to you, I think you're going to abandon anything that doesn't feel good anymore and continue to follow, like I said, something that brings more passion and find a way to create that consistency that you know you need. And you're going to get that feedback that you want in order to keep you going because it's important. We need to know that what we're doing is serving the purpose that we desire to serve. All right. So what you don't see coming with the eight of wands and the two of cups the nine of wands, somebody's just, I still feel like dredging through the mud. So if you're wondering why you're not hearing this person's watching you from an external space, 
whoever this is, and they haven't quite gotten to the other side of their pain, their problems, their difficulties, and I think they feel sorry for themselves a lot. So just know if there's somebody that you've been thinking about, this is where their head's at. They haven't really worked on themselves and they don't know how to talk to you. So I don't know why that's in the what you don't see coming energy. Maybe it's just to let you know if you've been thinking about someone that they're still, yeah, they want to know what's going on with you, but they haven't done the work. They haven't healed. And the Nine of Swords is in reverse. So I, I don't think you're going to be losing sleep over this. This could be a long term situation that you finally, finally really worked through and realize it doesn't matter what they're doing. They're obviously not coming back into my experience or they're not going to show up the way I had hoped. So I need to let that go. What Spirit wants you to focus on here with the King of Swords and the Two of Swords. One, don't be concerned. You'll make the right choice. The Wheel of Fortune, that's fantastic because no matter which choice you make, everything's going to work out really, really well. Spirit wants you to focus on what makes you feel fulfilled, right? The Wheel of Fortune is about good fortune, yes, but it's how do you create that good fortune in your life? Whichever decision that you make, you aren't going to make the wrong one. So don't be afraid of that. This is like taking back your power and control and knowing um, not to doubt yourself. I think Spirit wants to tell you, don't doubt yourself. Either way you go, you're going to be successful. I know it's been exhausting with strength in reverse, but there you go. Knight of Cups, as long as you are continuing to love you, love what you're doing, you could be as tired as you are, no matter what, you're going to still push through. Spirit's like, just keep focusing on that love aspect the best that you can and release those negative thought patterns the best that you can. It, it's not easy. They're going to creep in. We all do it. So don't beat yourself up for that. You're not doing anything wrong. I feel like this is a lot of love and passion towards the things that you really want to create. So it's going to be an exciting month. All right, that was a long reading. I'm going to get into love and see what's going on. If you do have someone in your life that you want to check up on, we'll see what's going on with them. Typically, some singles things may come out. I'm going to go back to doing it the way that I did it before. So the last couple times gave us a little singles, but we're going to stick with you and your person. So if you'd like to stay, great. If you decide you don't want to be here for this, I totally understand. And thank you for being here up to this point. And if you've enjoyed the messages thus far, please hit that like button. Okay, so you person, we've got the Queen of Swords. Ace of Wands, okay. Somebody's not telling you the truth about how they feel with the Fool. I think somebody's afraid that if they take a chance with you that you're going to deny them. Makes sense in what we saw in the main reading. Hang on one second. So I'm not surprised. It's not that their energy isn't there. It's not that they're not physically attracted to you because I feel like that's what's coming up. They just don't have, I don't want to say the word, they don't have the ability to come forward just yet. It's not that they're not thinking about it. So for those of you that are in contact or you have a, a if you're in a marriage or you're in a, a long-term relationship, somebody is not able to speak to you or take they want to say something, but they don't know how to put it into words. Just like I'm stuttering over my, my own words. There's something there. For you, do you want to walk away? I don't think you do. I don't think you want to leave this behind. A part of you thinks that things can work themselves out with the Wheel of Fortune. Two of Wands, you see this as your future. Ace of Swords. To you, the, as long as you speak clearly, that's the thing I think you're going to have an epiphany about this. When the person comes forward, you may finally realize, okay, I understand where you're coming from. You had some fears. Something was there that was difficult for them to talk about. I think they want kind of a new start. It doesn't matter whether you're not talking or, yeah, whether you're not in contact, you're with somebody, or this is just the very beginning of a situation. I don't see you leaving it. I see you thinking this might be your future and that great things could come from that. And as long as the truth is spoken, I feel like you it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. I, I can't get the words out. I feel like this is your person. They don't know how to speak clearly. I think you do. I just don't think they do. And I think you're going to understand that finally, why it is so difficult for them to communicate. 
let's see. What do we have with the... I want to see what's going on with the Romance Angels. Honey, I'm going to enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you could be having something pop up. A couple holidays, your birthday. Something that you're going to be celebrating. If you're with this person, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So maybe not focusing so much on your partner or the person. This feels like it's going to be for those of you that are in a relationship. It's, you know what? I love me. Let's try to make this work. But you're going to have to get clear about how much I do love myself and how much of a, I'm not going to allow that to be an issue anymore. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That makes sense. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So the two of you may decide if you are in partnership to go ahead and take some time and be together. If you have children, I'm going to guess that there's going to be some time where you might want to get away from kids and go do something on your own if it's possible. And for those of you that this is someone who's afraid to come forward to you that hasn't spoken to you in a long time, I think they just need to get themselves together. They're just not ready. But they do keep track of you. So I don't like to keep give people like the idea that somebody's always going to be coming back. But people don't stop thinking about you. They just don't. And they will check up on you, especially if I'm picking up on their energy. I can tell that there's something they haven't let go of just yet. Let's see what we get with the Lover's Oracle really quick. What else can you tell us? Cancer and the person. Okay, so this one's coming up. Playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. For those of you within a relationship, romance, cupids, arrow strikes. Okay, so there's a lot of love that's going to pop up this month. In relationships, for those of you that you love your person, maybe you've had some troubles. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Embrace. And then if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So figure it out from the heart space this month. Or just go with it. You might want to put some things aside that may have felt like they were super urgent in the past. And just try to do the best you can to love on each other. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. The happy, happy. This is the best card in the deck for the connection in a relationship. So those of you that really want to reconnect with your person... This feels just a joyful time, a joyful time. You could be 26, born on the 26th, the 2nd, 6th, or 8th of the month. Change in the wind, something's definitely going to be changing. To, to me, this could be about home change. So you could be deciding, and the 12th of the month, meaning 12th of July, could be something significant. December could also be significant around a change in the home. I just heard, or status, some of you could be getting engaged towards the end of the year. If you've been in a relationship and you're wondering, totally out there message I just got. But just know that. Uh, why? You could be 31, born on the 3rd, the 1st, or the 4th of the month. You could be asking why things were so difficult for such a period of time. But I feel like Spirit's trying to bring in the happy, happy card to tell you. We're giving you the answers that you need. Trust us. There's something that I feel like you need to read. Yep, this is connected to books around, I don't know why I'm getting this specifically, numerology. I don't know why, but if you've been recently picking up books and reading about spiritual things, getting more connected, whatever that is, this feels like it's important. It's never been pointed out to me before when I've seen that card. So maybe around needing to understand difficulties with your parents difficulties that you had in the past where you felt left out and it was difficult, but something around that's going to be changing because of this book that you read. So if you're not reading a book, that's okay. It's just something's going to pop up in your experience that I think is going to be really helpful in helping you understand why these things had to happen and part of the reason that you came here so that you understand why Again, that you had to go through those things and the lessons you wanted to learn in this life. So you could be born on the 5th as well. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. And if you would like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I'm sending you so much love. Happy, happy, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.